the instruction run carry wave 2017 saw a tsunami simulation within the parish of st patrick's the tsunami was caused by an 8.4 magnitude earthquake of the coast of Cuba, affecting the northern parts of Grenada. Staff and students of the St. Patrick's Anglican and Roman Catholic schools, as well as the Child Development Center, participated in the event. It was given a 7.5 rating by evaluators, citing some minor challenges with the communication system. Disaster preparedness officials say the exercise has increased the level of awareness among residents on tsunami safety and brought to light the need for follow-up programs, especially with the Ministry of Education. Evaluator Kester Cyrus says they were pleased with Tuesday's event. We had to wait for the, for the signal and in fact after the signal, um, it was about five minutes after because I, I became aware of it, the siren went out. And not long after that, it's, it's within five minutes, we saw children coming up through the tracks to the safer ground. I believe it, it went well because you saw the urgency in the children. And even when um, we had a debriefing, the children could have remembered what they were taught, that they, they need to listen, they need to look, and, and they need to run to higher grounds for safety. In your own evaluation, what were some of the shortcomings? Because we heard one of the persons were mentioning that some of the children were running, or walking, sorry. Yeah, that, that some of the children were walking, which is a small number, but um, especially the teachers, we thought that we saw some of the teachers just walking up. Um, yes, they are adults and they are aware it's an exercise, but remember, with that exercise we are testing, so we should do what we, we, we should be doing in case there, there's a situation. Kathy and Maureen, Community Program Officer at NADMA, says the 7.5 rating is based on a number of factors. I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. And the reason being is that we, in terms of participation, we had 100% in participation. In terms of the alerting mechanism, we had some failures in that area because we had one of the schools that was targeted did not receive receiving that alert within that uh, specified period. Where was the shortfall? I believe that the information came from Met. It went to the police station. We heard the siren, but the school, for some reason, did not hear it, and we did not have any contingency in them receiving it. So we need to have a more redundant system. Maybe if siren doesn't work, then we need to ensure that either a phone call or some other mechanism is in place to make sure that the masses get the information. The collaborating teams will now meet and discuss the successes and areas needing improvement. The information collected locally will then be shared with regional and international partners. From St. Patrick's, where Grenada's level of preparedness for a tsunami has been tested, I am Eugenia Peters for GBN News.